Hi guys, it is a stormy, rainy day here in the end times in paradise, in the rainforest of St. Croix Virgin Islands. Uh, we'll see if we make it through this round or not. Anyway, it is Wednesday morning, December 30th, 2015, so I'm getting ready to bring you my climate change meltdown roundup rant on this stormy, dark day in the end times. But while I was doing that, uh, researching that on the mainstream media, I stumbled across this little article from Associated Press, and I just thought it was actually more interesting than my climate change meltdown roundup rant, which is a little slow today, I admit. So, uh, let's just turn away from climate change, because you're not going to have to worry about climate change taking your ass out if this guy is right. Looking ahead towards 2016 and beyond, <coughs> we see crusading former Pentagon chief <coughs> says nuke danger is growing. Oh yeah, so uh, what else is nuke? This is uh, William J. Perry. Late in a life lived unnervingly near the nuclear abyss, William J. Perry is on a mission to warn of a, quote, real and growing danger of nuclear doom. This is the 88-year-old former defense secretary is troubled by the risks of catastrophe from the very weapons he helped develop. Uh, I guess having a little bit of guilt, a little bit of oops here looking back over his miserable little life. Atop his list of catastrophes would be a nuclear terror attack in a major U.S. city or a shooting war with Russia that, through miscalculation, turns nuclear. <clears throat> a terrorist attack using a nuclear bomb or improvised nuclear device could happen, quote, any time now, next year or the year after, close quote. Yes. Uh, Perry played a central role in developing and modernizing nuclear forces throughout the Cold War. Quote, every day that I went to the analysis center, I thought would be my last day on Earth. He writes in his newly published memoir, <coughs> My Journey at the Nuclear Brink. He says he believed then and still believes that the world has avoided a nuclear holocaust as much by good luck as by good management. Yes, it has. Uh, Going on. I'm going to put the link to this. Uh, I'm going to put the link to this whole article and and highly recommend you read it. Uh, I'm just going through parts of it to whet your appetite. Let's see. Quote: I see an imperative to stop this damn nuclear race before it gets underway again, not just for the cost, but for the danger it puts all of us in. We are facing nuclear dangers today that are in fact more likely to erupt into a nuclear conflict than during the Cold War. Yes, uh, 
a soft-spoken man not given to hyperbole, Perry is on a public crusade to persuade people that nothing less than the future of civilization is at stake. And what worries him most is that few people seem to notice. Quote, our chief peril is that the poised nuclear doom, much of it hidden beneath the sea and in remote badlands, is, <coughs> is too far out of the public consciousness. In his book's preface, <coughs> Perry outlines a nuclear terror scenario which he calls, quote, my nuclear nightmare born of long and deep resistance. And this is called them terrorists getting hold of enough uranium to uh, making a nuclear bomb to take out Washington, D.C. or some other city. Quote, the danger of a nuclear bomb being detonated in one of our cities is all too real. And yet, while this catastrophe would result in a hundred times the casualties of 9-11, it is only dimly perceived by the public and not well understood. And, you know, I have to admit, uh, I'm probably a little bit <clears throat> in that camp of clueless morons uh, while I'm waiting for overpopulation and climate change and such as that to uh, take down the civilization in this planet, I, I guess. Uh, maybe I won't have to wait For the 50 or so years that I think the civilization and this planet have because according to this guy <coughs> it could happen in 2016 speaking of which oh god tomorrow is uh, good lord is tomorrow the last day of 2015 I have to come up I have to come up with my own eco-nazi no-brainer predictions for 2016 but that's tomorrow's rant, but today is Wednesday, so I'm going to wrap up this little rant about our impending nuclear doom and come back at you with my weekly impending climate disaster doom. Bye, guys.